Hello, and welcome to the Trojans Esports Showcase Series. Um, I'm Ty Sirakun, and uh, I'm joined by Matt. How's it going, Matt? I'm doing well. How about you? Oh, I'm super. Can't wait to watch some FIFA and uh, get hype. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm very <laughs> excited for this. It's my first time casting uh, any kind of FIFA aside from my own, so this will, it'll be nice. It'll be a nice uh, change of pace. Yeah, I'm super pumped to be here. Thanks for joining us, everyone, from home. Hope you guys are ready to get some FIFA action in your lives. So today, this is our first exhibition match for the Children Esports Showcase Series. Uh, our next upcoming exhibition match is for Rocket League, which is happening on February 26th. Uh, one after that is NBA 2K on March 5th, and the last one we'll be doing for the exhibitions are the or sorry is the Madden 2K match on March 12th. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Um, but for now. We're doing some FIFA, baby. You know, let's get hype. Um, just want to give a good thanks to Trojan Affinity Partners, TD Insurance, and Manulife. Check them out. Their uh, logos are below. Shouts out. And um, yeah, today we'll be watching two great players. We got Duda representing St. Trojans and Toby representing the Lethbridge College Kodiaks. So a little bit of rivalry there, the Lethbridge Calgary yeah. rivalry <laughs> tonight. No, yeah, I'm definitely excited for these matches. Uh, we're going to be having a best of seven here for the exhibition. So we'll see who's, you know, we'll see if there's a, you know, complete domination or if it'll be a tight affair. So I'm hoping for more tight affair, some good action. And yeah. I uh, want to see some goals. Goals will be, I think we'll <laughs> see goals. Um, depending if the they decide to play, you know, drop back possession, which, you know, hopefully not. Hopefully there, there'll be an exciting football, soccer games. Mm -hmm. So, um, for those wondering, we are, yes, playing on the FIFA 20, which, uh, that's, uh, games we're right. playing. You may wonder why it's not FIFA 21. Well, honestly, FIFA 20 is probably more accessible. You have full rosters, all the ratings. Nothing's really changed. So, you know, FIFA 2020, you can buy that on EA Play or whatever it's called now, where you can get for free, down for free. So anyone can play FIFA 20 right now, whereas, you know, FIFA 21, you gotta pay for it. So it's yeah. a, bit more, a bit more accessible. Yeah, and that's why we're doing this one uh, on FIFA 20. It's a bit of a fun one, right? The exhibition match. We're just kind of showing off what we got today. Um, yeah. Just, just letting two good players face off, and uh, we're just having some fun. Mm -hmm. If you want to catch the finals of this series, you can catch that on uh, March 27th and March 28th. That's a weekend. FIFA 2021 will be featured on that Saturday, March 27th. Um, so going back to the old one, Oldie but Goody, mm -hmm. um, I was saying that he, he really likes FIFA 20. So you have, probably have a lot more experience with this game than me. Yeah, right? uh, I, personally, I really enjoyed FIFA 20 last year. I had a lot of fun streaming on, personally on my own channel. I had, you know, Ultimate Team was great, but yeah, I, I have no issue. This is going to be fun. I hope, uh, like I said, great action, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, you know, the opponent, uh, the, the players will be ready to go because you know they've been playing the newer version probably more so than anything so they yeah. might be a bit rusty when it comes to fifa 20 but there's no real difference honestly well let's see if they can dust off their uh their fifa 20 skills and yeah show us what they're made of here the pace will be a little bit different that's for sure every year the the pace of the game changes so uh yeah i'm, I'm, I'm interested to see, see how they'll adapt back man i'm i'm so into the fifa music um you, yeah we were we were kind of just prepping a little bit before the stream went live, and I was like, "Man, I'm used to some of the NHL music, you know, a lot of rock and roll things like that." Mm -hmm. Tifa's music is good, man. <laughs> check, it is very check out good. Their music, I gotta say, uh, I would definitely suggest uh, checking out the Spotify playlist where you have like uh, FIFA soundtracks from like FIFA 2002, I want to say. So it's mix of indie, R and B, rap, um, a lot of cultural music. So. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of my friends and I, we, we still listen to, like, old FIFA songs. And they're just absolute bangers, as I say. All right. Um, so I think we're about ready to jump into things. Uh, sounds like we're just getting the matches set up. And Perfect. then we'll be ready to jump into it. Hey, also, thanks everyone for showing up. Like, yeah. Shout out to everyone who, uh, <laughs> who who's coming to watch some, some good old football. Um. Yeah, no, show, uh, as you see a few people in the chat here, Victra, hello, uh, Karopi, Digital, uh, the guy, my dude, too, thank you, have fun, we'll try. The uh, guy, my homeless. dude, too. I know you, I know you, homeless. 
And, Tiki uh, Tiki, Vic, what's up? Yeah, good to see you. Let's go. Yeah, I um <laughs> I was watching a little bit of old like actual soccer games <laughs> to kind of warm up. Mm. And I don't know if I can match the energy, man. I don't know if I can. Even if I tried. <laughs> some of these guys they, they <laughs> If, you know, soccer is famous for their yelling and shouting yeah. <laughs> announcers. I was I was saying that uh, maybe I got to take a couple of Spanish lessons before the uh, the cast starts, just to get a little more authenticity. Oh, into don't the worry. Street. Just uh, <laughs> Google Ray Hudson on YouTube. Go YouTube Ray Hudson commentary, and then that's all you need. Does Ray Hudson um, get hype or what? Oh, he gets. He's probably the most hyped one out there. <laughs> he's just a really good British guy. Apparently, fun fact: Ray Hudson. He used to play for. Um, FC Edmonton back in like the 70s and 80s. Oh wow, so weird, weird little connection there. It really, is he from Edmonton? No, no, he's from like the UK. I think he's Scottish or something. But he played for one of the clubs here back back then. Ah, cool. Yeah. Um, is is our uh, is our Edmonton boy in this game or is he just in the FIFA 21? Oh, he's in he's in this one. I'll be interested to see if Alfonso Davies is used in one of these teams. If someone uses Bayern Munich, although I think we might be playing for the FIFA Ultimate Team. I'm not 100 percent sure. So, um, I've been told it's FIFA Ultimate Team, so he might be used, and he's got a pretty good card as well. Mm -hmm. So, for so. those who don't know, FIFA Ultimate Team, is that's kind of just a, a mode where you almost pick a dream team, right? Yeah, essentially. I mean, um, yeah, it's kind of like uh, your fantasy team, except you, you have to use a budget or get lucky in packs. Mm -hmm. So... Got a lot of people joining the chat now here. Mr. Prim, the 90th minute gang is here apparently. The Thick Ginge, wow. Barcelona uh, Vinny, shouts Jacob. out. Jacob. Well, a lot of familiar names for me as le at least. Yeah, so, Cub, Max. Thanks for joining <laughs> us, guys. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Um, if you guys don't know, you know, it's right above us. This is the Trojans Esports mm -hmm. Showcase Series. So shout out to Sate uh, for throwing this event. And shout out to our sponsors, TD Insurance and Manulife, for making it happen. No, yeah, and uh, you know, I when I, w I went to Nate for a bit, and we had a few esports tournaments featuring FIFA 20. And honestly, there's a lot of hidden talent I've noticed in the college scene. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, back, I think it was FIFA 19. There was a tournament at Nate at the Nest at the bar, and this guy absolutely ruined me, and I didn't expect <laughs> it. Uh, I honestly went into this tournament very confident because I was a very experienced FIFA player, and not it was just complete opposite. I lost like seven nil. Funny enough, right before that game started, the guy looked at me. He shook my hand and said, "Hey, man, go easy on me. I'm new." And he, he oh, went on. He wiped <laughs> you. He, yeah. he hustled you, man. He went. I was like, "Oh, okay." I mean, I he won my first you. match. Yeah, I was calm and like, uh, I feel like that wasn't a good sign. <laughs> so. um, yeah, I don't think I'd ever have the confidence to join a FIFA tournament myself. Uh, me and Bob <laughs> were just talking about how it's like secretly, it's like a sleeper biggest game ever kind of thing yeah oh yeah definitely i mean it's, it's one like, of the most played games in the uk all over the world yeah so like virtually every single country you know loves soccer mm. in one way or another right it's like and between it's, it's like between fifa series and like roblox right now or something the esports scene's really been <laughs> growing at fifa in the recent years i know ea's put a lot of money into it and because of covid it's been growing more I know last mm. year there was a tournament called the ECPL, e -Can e uh, Canadian Premier League team, where each Canadian Premier League team had a couple players representing them in a huge tournament with a lot of money on the line. So it's growing yeah. in Canada, in, in Alberta, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I know when um, there was a player on the Xbox in Saskatchewan, actually, who qualified for... I want to say the Xbox Championship. I'm not too sure. He won the North American qualifiers, so that's that's really big. Dang! Wow, that's yeah. Hey, from from my sources, they tell me that North America is pretty big. So, congrats to my man from Saskatchewan. Everybody <laughs> sleeps on North America when it comes to FIFA esports because I mean, Europe and South America are yeah. always known for football or you know soccer. So don't yeah. sleep on the North Americans. Don't sleep on the Canadians. Okay, people slept on Alfonso Davies. Look what he's doing now. So yeah. Our man's is over in Europe, making it big. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think uh, sports, esports, like you know, traditional sport esports like FIFA twenty or twenty one, Madden, uh, NBA two K, things like that. Great intros into esports, right? It kind of it kind of lets you see, you know, the traditional sport, which is easily identifiable for people who are familiar with that, yeah. and 
they can see how esports can be a little more than just video games, right? Mm -hmm. The competitors are still two people who are being very heated in competition. They both want to win. They're both bringing it, uh, bringing their all, and they got to practice, right? Just like traditional sports. No, exactly. So. Yeah, I mean, there's still that little stigma behind esports that you know it's kids who just sit in front, but it's a real practice now. It's just like actual sports. You got to put your time and effort if you actually want to turn this into a hobby or career, just like content creation. So it's mm -hmm. an exciting time to be a gamer. <laughs> Ty Digital going, smile for the camera. He's taking a screenshot of us for sure. <laughs> Perfect, Ty. Thank you. <laughs> Wave check. <laughs> I'm Waz and I support Alberta Esports. <laughs> awesome. We got some Madden haters on here. Oh, God. Um, well, we're not, good thing we're not watching Madden today. We're doing we're the better watching, football. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're watching some better football today. <laughs> and not, not, nothing against, you know, American football. I only watch for the Super Bowl. But mm -hmm. I'm excited. The big game, they call it. Yeah, um, true. I only watched. I only watched a little bit of the Super Bowl this year. I didn't Not watch the biggest, halftime. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, you know what? The weekend, great halftime show. It's true. Hopefully, Drake next year. You know, back to back Canadian talents. But right yeah, now, we're I still. Can... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just gonna say we're still waiting just yeah. uh, to get the match ready. Uh, opponents are just. Not the opponent. I would say opponents. I'm so used to being on the other side, but uh, <laughs> uh, our players here, uh, Duda and Toby, are just setting up the match right now. Probably getting their teams ready. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just stay stay patient with us, and we'll, we'll get the action right underway. So, is there a pretty consistent meta in FIFA? Like, is there like one team that you that everyone's trying to use? Well, it not so much anymore with the seasons, which is like actual teams you can take on, like you know Manchester United, Bayern. Uh, mm. Just no one really touches those the seasons mode whereas as an ultimate team there is a meta uh, i can't remember what the meta was in fifa 20 it's been a while but yeah i mean there's obviously a meta like people like content creators always kind of set the standard of what you should be using for example in fifa 21 the meta for your defense is four to three players veron mendy and joe gomez who are very fast defenders so everyone tries to get them in their team it's easy to mm -hmm. link them so there's a chemistry thing in FIFA, right? Your ultimate right. team can have 100 chemistry. And, you know, in order to get that 100 chemistry, you need players who are from the same team, same country, same league. If they're from the same club, for example, if you have two Real Madrid players, that's a, a strong link. So they'll have 100, they'll have 10 chemistry between each other. So the better the chemistry, the better your team performs. The lower the chemistry, your players are not going to gel. The stats mm -hmm. won't be the same. It's, yeah. So, so does that just directly impact the stats, or is that like they're more likely to receive a pass from each other? It, it, and I, I think the lower the chemistry, the more it impacts the stats as well. The higher mm -hmm. you can also apply chemistry styles, which can boost stats. So if you have a player on 10 chem and he has a shadow chemistry style on him, well, the shadow is going to boost his pace and defending stats. So his mm -hmm. speed. Hmm. Dang, so. there's a lot of things that you can do to kind of tailor your team to your play style then, hey? Yeah. Um, um and is is there is there oh i had a great question and i totally just blanked on it <laughs> um just give my water here. yeah i don't know um I, I played i played a lot of sports games back in the day but it's been a while since i've gotten really into one just because mostly they're on consoles right and i'm a big pc guy uh but you're still keeping up with FIFA 21, hey? Oh yeah, I've been I've been playing it pretty much every week, uh, every mm -hmm. weekend. The weekend league for champions. It's it's FIFA's competitive game mode. You only get 30 games a weekend to play, and it's kind of you know you have your gold two, you have your elite rankings. Di well, there's no diamond, but it's like you, if you go 30 and no, you're basically in the top 100, top 200. So, um, mm -hmm. but. It'll be interesting to see how Duda and Toby take on each other, see what their skill levels are. Um, I'm always interested to, to see what the FIFA players in Alberta are like. I always kind of run into some when I'm playing FIFA online. But, you know, so many players, so I, I like learning about, you know, who's the best FIFA player in Alberta, right? So yeah. I hope we can find that out with the state uh, Trojan Esports Showcase Series here. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think there's, there's going to be a little bit more pressure on Duda representing the, you know, type idol team the trojans mm -hmm. he's representing state trojans and then his opponent toby uh kind of coming in as the away team right left yeah. college kodiaks 
you know, he's trying to stomp some stomp some yard <laughs> on Sate. <laughs> and, and it's nice that we have, you know, competitors from all across Alberta, not just Calgary and Edmonton, the big cities. Uh, you know, there are players in Lethbridge and probably other parts of Alberta. So I'm excited to see what kind of talents can be showcased here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, do you know of any big Albertan players in professional FIFA? Does um, that have any broken out? Honestly, I I can't name one, unfortunately, off the top of my head. Um, I'm sure, honestly, yeah, it's tough to say. Uh, I don't want to be that guy, but right now it's it's tough to say. I know, well, like I mentioned, there. Maybe, maybe due to our Toby after exactly. this one. They're, they're this gonna is the get, perfect way to showcase, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough to showcase your talents when, you know, there's not many, luckily there's tournaments like this to showcase it. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. Um, and so what... What what do formations do in this game? Is, does it does it impact your game style a lot, or is it kind of just like an on the fly thing you can switch up and just try things out with? Uh yeah. So formations are basically how your team's gonna be set up on the field. So you can do like let's say a four three three, where it's like four defenders, three midfielders, three attackers. Uh, you can do a four two three one, which is pretty common. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it in this um this exhibition match. And yeah, they basically, you know, there there are formations that are meta, and there's mm -hmm. formations that don't really work too well. So, yeah, they they definitely do impact. There's some players who, you know, they're a bit different. They like to try different formations, and they perform a bit better. So, mm -hmm. no, yeah, they do definitely make an impact. And is that something that you can only switch um, during like halftime and stuff, or is that an on the fly thing? Actually, uh, in with recent FIFA titles, you can do that more on the fly now, where. Um, uh, you can switch from an ultra attacking, you know, to an attacking defensive formation just with the, uh, here, I'll bring on my Xbox controller real quick here. Just use the D-pad right oh, here. Okay. And you Expert just, analysis. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So you can just switch your formation just like that. And it doesn't, like, you don't have to have a specific, you know, you, you can be, you can switch to your attacking formation, but it can be set up defensively. It's nothing specific. Mm -hmm. It just kind of gives you options. We got Victra. Yeah, and was can. with the tech. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I'm, I'm I'm doing my best here. Um, this one, this game is is being played on a PS4 though. Um, yeah. Just just full transparency. Um. Yeah. No. A lot of most FIFA esports is played on PlayStation. That's the dominant console. I mm -hmm. personally play Xbox, and there's no real difference. So. Uh, Mr. Homeless in the chat, was you flexing your Series X? Uh, no, I'm not. It's just it's was closest to me. I have a PlayStation controller somewhere over there. So don't worry, I got the PlayStation controller right there, just in case. All right. Well, I hope uh, I hope Duda and Toby are <laughs> figuring out the play. issues. There's a, there's a bit of uh, issues with some EA Play stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting your EA account set up that can be a headache at times. I won't lie. So. Mm -hmm. There was a funny uh, situation. Maybe you guys saw that that Star Wars Battlefield or Battlefront game was free for a while on Epic Games. Oh yeah, I think so. <laughs> if you if you downloaded that on the Epic Games launcher um, on PC, it would actually download EA's specific origin launcher, and so you would be opening a launcher to open another launcher, <laughs> and it was like a very Jesus. strange process. So sometimes you know that stuff can be a little tricky. Um, you know, account management. Yeah, watch mm -hmm. out for that. A few comments in the chat saying that uh, we might see some five backs. Yeah, the five back formation recently, FIFA twenty one has been meta. Uh, not a lot, not a lot of people are a big fan of it just because you know you have five defenders. Mm -hmm. But there are ways to make it pretty attacking. So uh, a lot of people just aren't a fan because you know uh, there's a t term in FIFA, and I think a lot of cross uh, games called you know sweaty. It's like oh, that's a sweaty formation. That's a sweaty player to use. I mean, just like. I, I, do you know what the term sweaty means? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like you're trying really yeah, hard to win. Yeah, yeah, you know? essentially. But hey, you know, that's... I, I love it when people say, oh, you know, that's so sweaty. Oh, you're trying so hard and stuff. Especially when it's a, a, like a real tournament. Yeah. Um, because, hey, that's just the game, right? If, uh, if you were watching two teams on the field in real life, you wouldn't blame them for trying to win, right? No, exactly. But... And, uh, and so I think a lot of people kind of misconstrue tried and true tactics or like very slow tactics mm -hmm. as you know playing cowardly or playing yep. a weak yep. thing maybe compensating but they're not because if uh, it works it works right that's and, a big thing in fifa people like to call people out for doing like you know playing 
drop back defensive it's like oh you're so boring and I, yeah. i'll be honest i i'm a i'm a victim of you know calling you know my opponent out for doing that when i'm playing fifa but when it's we a tournament hey you know what it's fair game do what you want yeah to do. we are so um, th this is why i'm not a competitive player why i like talking over the game <laughs> yeah it did so it's way better when you're on the couch yeah. and you're like oh hey look at that guy's winning that guy's not <laughs> you know <laughs> um but yeah, I, I I think it's it's more telling when someone's complaining about losing in any way yeah. about them and not the other person, right? You just gotta mm -hmm. you gotta take your L, as they say. You gotta hold that L, as they say, right? We're any, still uh, any just... competitive games. Like oh, that. sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no, exactly. You make a good point there. Yeah, we're just still waiting for things to get set up here. Um, luckily, this is this is why it's an exhibition. Just you know, see how things go and have a nice little showcase. Yeah, for the we're big just hanging events. Out. Um, shout out to everyone who's just here hanging yeah. out with us, chatting. It's been nice, nice talking. Um, you know, Ty. Cool uh, chat. Ty's, <laughs> you know, he's he's not big into the FIFA scene, but you know, this is why I'm here. We're we're having a nice chat, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's awesome. Hey, it's always fun to learn new games and and yeah. watch competition. Honestly, no, exactly. That's why I'm happy to be here. I've, I've watched FIFA esports. I know people in the esports scene. So, no, yeah. Well, I'm just I'm I'm just I'm hyped for the the action. So. Yeah. Um, honestly, anyone who's new to the channel that we're hosting this on, um, just, you know, give us a follow and check in whenever, because yeah. there's always, like, a crazy variety of games that uh, Esports Alberta is holding. Um, and if you're into just two people duking it out, you know, mm -hmm. having some cool commentary, watching some competition, uh, there's always some new, fresh stuff on here, including sports games. I think this is actually the second time we've had sports games on the channel, so it's, oh. you know... We've we've had it. Um, we've had fighting games. We've had shooters. There's tons of good stuff on here. If you're just into esports in general. No, yeah, I'm like, we we still don't really have an ETA and when things will kick off here. But yeah, no, we're we're trying to cover all the bases of FIFA as long as we can. Mm -hmm. So it's good. Uh, I'm interested to see what team, what players they'll use. How many? If they'll use any icons, I don't know if there's um if we if the tournament has any restrictions on who you can use your squad. If there's a rating restriction, I know in past esports events they they sometimes do that for FIFA where you can only have like an 86 rated max squad or mm -hmm. you can only have like three icon players. Which an icon player is basically someone who has perfect chemistry to anyone on the pitch. So you can oh just they're just like them. a a godlike player. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the icons in FIFA, they're, they're ones that have pretty bad stats. So there's ones that are meta and they're not meta. There's just, yeah. I'm just excited mm. to see what they use. So. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see some FIFA at some point, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what, though? This, these kind of games, too, remind us that uh, there, there's still some stuff on the other side of the pandemic, right? And yeah. it's a good way to connect to games that we love. Um, there's no, exactly. A couple of uh, a couple of my friends. We like can't wait for uh, everything to finish because we've been oh, yeah. getting into volleyball and want to start a volleyball league. <laughs> and, you know, I just want to start sweating again. Honestly. Exactly. Same. I'm the same way. I mean, I miss playing footy. I miss playing indoor. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. But hey, we got video games. That's okay. That's the closest we'll get. And a lot of you know colleges are starting to get into that vibe. They're like, okay, esports, you know, we can't play actual sports. Why not virtual? Mm -hmm, I know exactly. um, I've seen a few colleges around Alberta definitely host tournaments online. I have friends entering them. So I hope you should see if I start commentating over them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's because a lot of the actual college or university players. Oh, oh, and hey, it seems... Hey, Okay, we a game. here we go. So it seems um, we're, I don't think we're doing ultimate team, we're just doing seasons. So we have France versus Barcelona. Uh, Interesting. So France just has one club? Yeah, or oh, they're all French players, right? While okay. he, so we're having a nation versus a club where a club can have, you know, multiple nationalities. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so this is interesting. Okay. Um... But yeah, I, I think uh, I think a lot of actual uh, players mm -hmm. of sports at universities also play the video game versions of the sports that they rep. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Like, if you think that hockey players aren't just mm-hmm. hanging out and playing NHL with each other, you're crazy. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, there's players who play for FC Edmonton and they play FIFA. I play them and I've played them in FIFA before. It's just like I run into them. Like, yeah, I know a guy. He plays for the local team. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah, no, uh, you'd be surprised. There's a lot. So, of what action. are we? What are we looking at here? Uh, how is France gonna compare to the Barcelona club? Uh, I'd say it's. I mean, it's a matchup that's never actually happened in real life. So, uh, mm-hmm. Barcelona, they have Lionel Messi. I'm sure you've heard of him, the Argentine uh, yeah. magician. While France, you know, they recently they won the 2018 World Cup. So, it's it's going to be an interesting battle. Any uh, good notable players on France that we should look oh, out for? Yeah, the, I mean, the weird thing with France and Barcelona is that they have, for example, Barcelona has Antoine Griezmann mm-hmm. and Ousmane Dembele. So does France. Barcelona, like, <laughs> so you can see the same players, which is fine. Um, yeah, France is Mbappe, which I mean, you see the cover star of FIFA 21. He's yeah, probably one of the fastest players in the world. So, um, very okay. So, I mean, I'm noticing something interesting here um, with uh, the French side. I think uh, I'm not too sure who's who's who right now, but they're playing Endon Bellet. Okay, so Duda is France, Toby is Barcelona. Okay. So Duda is using a midfielder at right back and on ballet, which I've 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 never really seen much of. So that's that's different. But in these unique strategies, maybe trying yeah, to cross up the opponent yeah. here. Which I don't know why he would do that, considering and on ballet is like around eighty to seventy pace in this game. But hmm. hey, if it works for him, interesting. Well, There's really a lot of variation you can uh, yeah, yeah, put on you your can. team here, hey? But Endon Belli, he is a defensive midfielder. You could play him there, but it's not his natural position. You'd want to play him in a central midfield role. So would you say that FIFA is almost more or like half of a strategy game? It, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of strategy that goes into it for sure. Mm-hmm. Like I'm noticing, just because I have a little more experience playing NHL, that there's like a lot more... Uh, strategy placement, you know, yeah. setting up your chess pieces than there is yeah. in a game like NHL or uh, even like an NBA. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like more of a chess game, depending. I mean, you have to set up your team right. Mm-hmm. But here we go, Duda versus Toby, the first match out of a, of a best of seven. France versus Barcelona. Here we go. We made it. We made it. The they uh, open up the doors of the stadium. Yeah, you can see all the Twitch viewers in the background there. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. okay, we're going to get it going here. So I just want to confirm your Toby is France, correct? I think so. Yeah, I believe that is true, yeah. Yeah, okay, so Toby is France and Bar- uh, Duda is Barcelona. So there we go. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, well, get, that, get that commentary volume. Yeah, where are the, where are the commentaries? We are the commentary. We don't need no British man here. This is an Albertan battle. So oh, you're going to yeah, get exactly. our lovely Albertan accents and not the, hello, mate, so let's play some football. All right, things have kicked <laughs> off here. No, yeah, no British commentary. It's pure Canadian here, so. Uh, hey, Duda is actually playing France, um, I'm hearing, and Toby is repping Barcelona. Okay, perfect. So Duda here uh, getting possession back. But it'll be interesting. I'm interested to see how if this will be a close game or if it'll be just an, okay, nice little foul there. Talk about tackle, okay. So here we go with uh, Duda okay. winning it back. Yeah, good control here. Oh wow, there's a chance here. If they can find an opening, maybe get a pass off. Nah, I gotta get be blocked here. Um, and Barcelona is the color jerseys, correct? Uh, yeah, Barcelona is right now the uh, bluish, purplish, the stripes, France is white. So. Okay. So right now it's been kind of, you know, I'll say 50 50. No one's really had a grasp, but it's still three minutes in. <laughs> yeah, so, true. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, most expecting... players might just be warming up a little bit here. Took a long yeah, time to kind of no wrap up, right? Goals, but Duda oh, here has got a chance, chance on that Duda. save. Great save from Toby. A little, a little footwork in the box here. Yeah, Duda 
Oh, going to get stolen by Toby. Yeah. See if Toby can maintain and get that ball on the opposite side of the field. A bit of a press, some, contain some possession. I think about FIFA, though, it's very back, it can be very back and forth. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you watch actual football on TV, it can get kind of stale at times, I won't lie. I watch a lot, but it does get a little boring, whereas FIFA can be back and forth. But you do have those players who can just dominate and hold possession. Hey, that's fun to watch, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's Honestly, a demonstration sometimes. skill. One skill move that's really overpowered in FIFA 20 is the drag back. We'll probably see that a lot. I remember that being a huge... I would, like, a skill move is basically, like, you know, a little bit of skill. Some are more meta than others as well. So mm -hmm. we'll see if that's been... will be used a lot. Toby trying to maintain control of the ball here due to kind of harassing him. Toby's got to actually find an opening all the way up to the box. Not going to keep it, though. Back in possession to Duda. Mm -hmm. Duda had a couple chances, but uh, was swarmed um, over in the defense by Toby. Yeah, Duda's defended well here. He's attacked well so far. He's created some chances. Toby, not so much yet, but early, early days. Duda got the ball in the hands of Mbappe. See if he can make anything out of it. Finds Griezmann just in the middle there. Oh, oh, and there oh, you go. There's the no. first goal. <laughs> Interesting. Toby fell over. Well, there's a little Dude, fun look celebration. At that. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> that Kinsley Coman. <laughs> I, I, I can't name all the celebrations, but yeah, um, a little cheap there. Move. But uh, one nil right now. Two. We got here Duda. Duda is right now 1-0. A little bit of a sweaty goal, but hey, you take what you can get. And he created a good chance. Bit of a deflection, but it goes in the back net anyway. And right now, 1-0 Duda. Goal is a goal. Depends how Toby responds here. Can he get a bit of a kickoff goal here? There's something called the kickoff cheese in FIFA, but we'll see. Oh, keeping it in. Nice job from Toby. Oh, nice cross. Trying to cross over. Not going to get any oh. headers from that. Oh, oh actually, Toby back in front Shoots wide left. Not yeah. going to get that one. He tries to go near post. Just misses. Great Good chance, effort though. Good though. Yeah. Good effort from Toby, though. Good effort from Toby. That huge cross. I didn't think anything was going to come out of it. And, but I won't lie. Uh, Duda has been... You know, he's he's been strong on the counter. Nice yeah. ball roll. Uh, not by... this time, Duda. And Ter Stegen, goalie for Barcelona. One of the best in FIFA 20. It was probably my most used keeper last year as well, so... Hmm. Right. Toby back in possession can, of the ball. Can Toby create a bit more chances here? Stolen Not by Duda. Team. Okay. Got some pretty good space here, actually, on this side of the field. Getting a bit swarmed now. Yeah. But still finding some openings to pass around the ball and just maintain control, which, you know, at, at some point, you're going to want to get some momentum for yourself. Mm -hmm. But it's also probably making Toby sweat a little oh, bit, right? Skill. Oh, big save from Ter Stegen. Yeah. Duda's really creating a lot of space for him. Uh, Toby, not really. I think he needs to start intercepting a little bit better, trying to predict him a bit better. Oh, crowd is going nuts yeah. right now. <laughs> crowd loving Toby having the ball. Honestly. <laughs> but still oh, early. Good. It's been 15 minutes in game. Just mm -hmm. both time, time for both players. Dude, Dude just seems no control. Counter. Great chance oh, cool. here. Shots go oh. around. Back passes it to Griezmann. Come on. Oh, there it wow. is. Beautiful a play. Bit of, an, a bit of an awkward play. Oh, there yeah. it is. <laughs> the walk. It was a bit oh awkward. I, I didn't know if um, it was going to happen, but the back pass uh, Brilli yeah. really got it there. See, look, Brilliant look at how, piece oh, they're of skill. That. But it was, um, it, was a little, it was a little strange there. Goalie wasn't able to stop it, and... Uh, I thought they were just gonna. Duda was just gonna kick it in, but no, yeah, Duda. He he brings out his goalie, Ter Stegen, for a bit, which is you know the worst idea. He tries to go around with Mbappe, Duda. Couldn't mm -hmm. find him. You know there was a bit of a mess in the box, but he just does the back pass to Griezmann, and that was beautiful. I thought. Yeah, Toby's gonna have to find a little bit of momentum for themselves if they want to stay in the game because it's all going towards uh, Duda. Yeah, Duda, right now he's been better on the press possession wise. Toby, I'm hoping he can you know. Find some life, get himself a chance to get himself back in this game. 2-0. You know, Bappe it's, it's coming in for, hot. Yeah. The back pass and shoots high. 
Dang, Toby. Do you think do you think Toby um needs to kind of step up the defense or are they not being aggressive enough? I, I think it's a mix of both. I mean, defending wise, he could be a little bit better, but just being more aggressive and just predicting those passes, intercepting those passing lanes, and mm-hmm. just holding down some possession, you know, give him some life into this game. Right now, yeah. I think Toby might be making some changes here. We've had an early pause. He could be changing up his formation, making substitution. Right now, I don't think Duda's feeling worried at all. So Yeah, they are in a very comfortable yeah. position compared to Toby right now. I mean, th- there's still a lot to this game. Yeah. yeah, it's a best of seven too, so it's you know it's not the end by any means. But Duda actually picking up a lot of momentum off mm-hmm. this first match, and that counts for a lot. No, oh, yeah, I don't know uh, exactly what Toby changed. Uh, I don't, I don't know if he changed the formation p- potentially. But ooh, oh, oh okay. no, not being able to keep that defense going. Yeah, uh, until now, see if they can get it out of their there territory. Yeah, Toby had just a little bit of trouble getting the ball out, out of his half there. Yeah, it just seems like Toby hasn't had a lot of time to breathe with the ball. Mm-hmm. A lot on the back pedal, a lot on the back foot. Credit to Duda, he's been smart with the ball, making good passes, good runs. Oh, no, and oh, way okay. out there. Wow, great tackle from PK. Yeah, great save, actually. That yeah. might have been a goal if, if uh, that was close. the goalkeeper hadn't made that call. Okay, Toby passing back to middle of the field. Trying to get that ball up there, get some yeah. sort of space where Duda oh. is not covering him. Uh, that wasn't bad from Toby there, but it's just he can get hit on the counter so easily by Duda. Mm-hmm. Duda just seems to have that skill in him right now, creating, sending his players on runs. Uh, Dangerous position for a free kick here. Yeah. Let's see what Duda chooses to do with this. Back in possession of France. Ooh, nice okay, work fancy that. footwork here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh try to center it. Maybe go He's for the so one touch. so good at finding space, especially around the box, getting by defenders. Totally. Comes Messi with the ball in the middle. Uh, Toby giving up the ball. like the, Yeah. It's just not going to work out when you're passing to a guy who's covered. So far, I've seen no real mistakes in Duda's game, whereas Toby's just kind of wasted possession. And you can't do that against a player like Duda who can just counter you easily. Is it a lack of passing, do you think? or Because when Toby gets the ball, it seems like they are just running up. Yeah, no, I think doing that's... doing one pass and losing. The one thing I've noticed is that he keeps trying to force the play. I think he can definitely just pass it back a little. Take, take your time. But right now, he mm-hmm. just sent a good ball down to Dembele. Will he hit the cross? Will he try to cut in? Decent opportunity. Yeah. But Conte, one of the best midfielders in the games. Uh, you know, when you have a midfielder like N'Golo Conte, uh, he's going to intercept you pretty easily. He's quite quick and has good right. defensive stats. So, uh, just to give you an idea who Conte is on the pitch, he's a small lad right there. <laughs> so, he's quick. Trust me, he's dangerous. Okay, so still playing around mm-hmm. middle of the field here, still in Duda's territory. Uh, better than in the box yeah, for Toby. Duda, I mean, he hasn't had complete control of the game. He's at 56% possession. So, but it's been kind of back and forth. Just, you know, Duda, he's created better chances, created more space for himself, winning the ball back. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I think Toby just needs to find a way to contain possession. Oh, here we go. Big save by Tristan. Good Stegen. save. Good save. Yeah, wow. Toby not doing the worst in the defense game, but just not getting any opportunities for themselves to fight back, right? Mm hmm. The thing is, when Toby allows so much pressure to come on himself, he's going to create, make defensive mistakes when that much pressure is being applied onto you. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, just hold down possession for a little bit. Play that tiki taka football that Barcelona is known for. Yeah. Bit of a dangerous pass. Lost Toby the ball. Back in position to Duda. Duda running up. Nice little interception. Good idea. Well done. Okay. Back in control, in control of the ball. See if Toby can make something happen with this. Oh, he's getting swarmed a bit there here. Goes, here comes Griezmann. Okay. Griezmann can. He outpace the other Ooh. players. Doesn't look that way. 
think you should try to get it across the box there, find someone to kind of just tuck it in, but... Hmm. Still not, early not days. Not anyone waiting for him there. Yeah, it's the 30th minute. We still have time for one, one of the two guys to kind of get back in the game or take control. Ooh, okay, this is dangerous. Great position for a free kick here. Okay. Oh, just going to pass the center. Okay. Okay. Not Take a bad shot. idea. So what uh, What do you think Duda was thinking there with that penalty play? Oh, honestly, I think he just thought um, I'd probably have a better chance if I just lay it off and go for net. Hmm. Oh, and oh, three the nil. Touchy. Three nil. Holy. Wow. Duda really identified yeah. a great opening yeah. right in center of the net. That That's was a, a great play. Unfortunate for Toby, though. Yeah, he just finds Mbappe in the box, you know. Unfortunately, Toby's defenders just weren't covering him. Mm -hmm. Maybe and a little too focused easy. on on the ball itself, not too yeah. focused on who that ball could go to. And sometimes it's tough to intercept those. It happens so quick, right? So, mm -hmm. like I said, Toby, he can find himself. He can honestly come back. It's not impossible. I've, you know, a lot of FIFA players, FIFA teams have come back from 3 0. Look, it's not even halftime yet. Get to halftime, you know, reset, change up the formation, get some substitutions, and you can easily oh. get yourself back in the game. Some good passing from Toby, actually. Definitely. Creating, creating some good space, a good opportunity. Oh, what I happened think, there? Uh, just an offside. Oh, I see. So, yeah. Honestly, Toby, I think he's he's still in this. He's not out. I mean, yeah, 3 definitely. Not the ideal score line, but I think he can find himself with and back into this. He just holds that possession, but got to be smart with the ball, and yeah, it's not as simple as that. Okay, Duda, back in the attacking position. Duda just seems so comfortable attacking at this point. No, yeah, exactly. Um, He's been very confident, you can tell. Yeah, they just haven't had to worry about defending too much, right? And when you get into that kind of attacking mm -hmm. flow state, um, you know, you, you gain a confidence that it seems Duda has right now, too. Wow, actually, no, exactly. not letting the ball get taken from yeah. them. Yeah. It's like eventually, a magic to his feet right now. Yeah, eventually, I mean, you know, going to kind of get flip-flops back. Toby's been able to win it back, but... No okay, way! Go, that was just now. a missed save, I think. Ooh, wow. Just walks around the defenders, goes near post with Pogba, who's got really good shooting stats, by the way, so don't want to put Pogba in that position. Mm -hmm. What do you think is a solution for Toby here? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like he might just need to... He's got to be tighter in the back. Definitely change up the uh, formation. I don't know. Personally, I think if I were him, I would not have started Gerard PK. Uh, he's mm -hmm. 86 rated defender, but he just doesn't have that pace, right? Whereas... Also, Duda has pace all over the pitch. Pogba, Conte, Varane, Mendy. He's got everything you need for winning lineup. Toby just rushing the goalie there. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get anything to happen. He's, he's winning the ball back. He's containing possession. He's doing everything he needs to get the victory, honestly. And he can honestly mm. get a fifth goal. Ooh, okay. No, they didn't send Griezmann on the run. You know, I said earlier that Duda wasn't focusing too much on defense. But there actually, you when you see Toby take it to the offensive zone, Duda's swarming... Uh, whoever's in possession. Well, it, well, the thing is, what happens when you get a lead like 4 0, you start to become maybe a little bit overconfident, and you start to have a little bit more fun, which I can see to do it here. He's trying to have fun with, you know, Pogba, oh. do a little bit of skill. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not the fancy yeah. footwork, not working there. Yeah. Like said, maybe getting a little trying too fun with it. Mm -hmm. But hopefully that could work into Toby's favor and kind of get himself back in the game. A little bit of space for Toby. Shoots. Ooh. Oh, and shoots wide left. It seems like just barely missed. He's created himself a chance, which is good. It's just, you know, being down 4 0, not ideal. Oh, dude, but if, he got that, if he got that goal, would have given some breathing room going into the second half mm -hmm. and could have, you know, possibly mounted a comeback. Right now, he, I think he needs to get himself a goal here before half. You know, 42nd minute, almost there. Due to getting control of that throw in almost immediately, unfortunate for Toby. Yeah, a lot of, feel... uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of players up ahead here, yeah. waiting to create space for Duda. No, yeah, Duda's really just gotten all of his offensive talent up there. He's using them pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, 
Wow, Music. look at these jukes, right? man. What the And heck? there you go, 5 0. That's. Oof. That's what N'Golo Conte doesn't have the best shooting in the world. Dang, so, man. That was a good goal. That he, was beautiful. Duda just was working well that ball. One pass into a goal. Duda, you're really asserting his dominance on the match. 5 0 by halftime. Hopefully Toby can find some life, just that, a silver lining. Yeah, Toby's right going to want to get something before half here. Duda, he's just having some fun out here. Okay, Toby. Finally in the offensive zone yeah. for a little bit. Even like you said earlier, they Toby doesn't necessarily have to be rushing in, getting big mm -hmm. plays, big goals. But just having possession, getting comfortable in the offensive plays... Um, we'll do a lot for Toby right now. I think going into the second half, obviously, I mean, Toby, he may feel obviously demotivated, but if he wants to, you know, get a goal, I would try to maybe expose the right hand. Oh, tries to go from there. Good yeah. save yeah. from France. So like I was saying, okay, uh, Toby, <laughs> just <laughs> punching that guy for the ball there. Toby's Barcelona has a throw in. Back in possession for Toby. Let's see if they can take advantage of the offensive zone. Messi. They've been Toby's been having come on, come a on. lot of time over here. Yeah, credit Toby. He's creating chances here in the final couple minutes here of the half. Yeah, getting some. But shots like I, I was trying to say, uh, I think going into the next half, what Toby can do is try to expose the right hand side of the pitch where Ndombele is, because Ndombele, you know, he's a central midfielder. He can defend there, but it's kind of a weak one of the weak uh, weaknesses on the pitch for Duda, I think. Mm -hmm. So, but clearly for Duda, it's been easy breezy. So he hasn't had many issues. Easy breezy Barcelona is what Duda's saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially. I think uh, he's... he's Bar Unfortunately, Toby is really replicating to uh, Barcelona in real life who have not been great in big <laughs> matches. Sorry, Barcelona supporters. Um, yeah, but let's see... Some changes here. Duda. Yeah. He saw uh, the stats there for a sec. Duda actually doubling the amount of shots on uh, net that so uh, Toby has. Duda is he's not done. He's just bringing on Ben Yedder, who's, who was last year one of the most meta strikers in the game. Okay. So he's, he's not done yet, uh, Duda. <laughs> hey, he, you know, there was a time when the Oilers won a game like not too long ago with 12. Oh, no, no, it wasn't the Oilers. It was Team Canada hockey team, mm -hmm. the, the juniors. They won a game with like 12 goals and people yeah. were like, oh, man, that's kind of going too far. They should have given up a little bit of space. And I disagree with that completely. I think uh, if you're Duda right now, you're thinking, I want to win and I want to get as many goals as possible. You know, if if my opponent can't face me, well, that's their problem. It's not my problem. Just want to <laughs> you know? uh, quickly... Uh, um, uh, give a shout out to the chat and everyone tuning in. Uh, Boomer Murray uh, says that uh, both these players have played in a national college tournament. Interesting. Wow. Wow. That's hmm. actually uh, pretty cool. I won't lie. Thank you for the little fact, Mr. Murray. Yeah, I didn't so. know that. All right. Switching sides here. Maybe Toby's going to find a little yeah. more luck um, playing right to left this time. Starting it off pretty hot mm -hmm. in the offensive zone. Dude, I actually got to take it back. Bring it back to where they're comfortable most in their offensive zone in Barcelona's box here. Wow, great chance. Ooh, See if there's a shot. Cheeky yeah. there. Goaltender kind of si rushed out a little too Silencing quick. Silencing the Barcelona crowd. Dabbing from Pogba. <laughs> Pogba was in a great position. Yeah. The top left there. Well, the thing was with Toby there. There was so much space in the middle of the park that he can just simply lob it in and create himself a chance. To... Yeah, not really covered uh -huh. at all by Barcelona. Yeah, now, now here's an issue. With, with Toby, he's sending his defender, PK on a run. So, I mean, his midfield is going to cover some space. But, yeah... Right now, just some tactical errors happening from Toby's point of view, maybe. Maybe things are just not going his way, you know. Um, it happens in FIFA. I'd love to see a comeback. I'm mm -hmm. all for an underdog story. Oh, I'm rooting for Toby it, it, at this point. You know, <laughs> at least, buddy, get a, you can get a goal, I believe. Yeah. I believe. But, but, I mean, maybe not right now because Duda is right in the box. Yeah. Has an opportunity. Toby's goalie going to take that one away from him. Not this time, he says. 
He's going for the easy goals, as, as easy as he can be, but... Yeah, like, just, you know, just back into possession. Okay, maybe not uh, super, super strong, but... Um, still, Duda is just kind of having a field day on the pitch. Essentially, he's just taking advantage. Um, basically exposing any weakness he finds it from Toby. And just credit to him, he, he's created such good space, making his players go on good runs, just like that. Every goal is looking very clean from Duda, I gotta mm -hmm. say. Oh, oh, is that... No, it saves it from being out. Good block. Play. Yeah, great block from Toby, not letting Duda in this time. Let's see if Toby can kind of switch it up here, send it back down the field. That's the thing with these... And get um, it out of the clutches of Duda. <laughs> these online tournaments in FIFA, you know, people can just be ruthless, right? And, you know, it's, it's e even in, in like, pro actual pro events, you know, people just run up to score as much as they want. They show no mercy because, you know, sometimes goal differential makes a huge difference at the end of the day. Yeah, so. totally. Oh, <laughs> dude, actually getting a little lost on the ball there. The pass back, great play oh, from, nice. from Toby to get that out of the hands of Duda as France. Now, now you can see a little bit, you know, he's trying to get a feel of the game, finally containing some possession, just trying to get a goal. Oh man, Messi really. and Vidal setting yeah. up a wall here at the middle of the field. Toby not being able to penetrate through. Mm -hmm. Now this is, of course, you know, as we said, uh, Exhibition is right now looking at this is its best of three. Um, and essentially, well, let's be real here. I don't think Barcelona will be uh, being, will, won't be, ah. Losing my words here. I don't think he'll be using Barcelona again after this. <laughs> so. Barcelona. Yeah. Barcelona. That's my impression of someone who would say Barcelona. Oh my gosh. Dude. Almost 7 0. Hitting the post. Oh, you can't look too sad, buddy. You got six goals on Barcelona. <laughs> but uh, that's just another chance for Duda putting pressure on Toby, almost saying, hey, if I wanted that goal, I could have got it. Mm -hmm. That one was a warning shot, right? Duda back in control. I mean, you look at Duda, he, as soon as he counters, it's always a threat on net, and credit to him. Fantastic display of just counter attacking Look, at, counter this space. look yeah. at this space that Duda has here. Toby finally stuffing him out, but it was looking really good for France there. Oh, a bit of a foul. Okay. Well, all right. Okay, that's that's huge. All this right, is so give a um, bit of opportunity. Oh, so essentially, what happened here, um, Duda? That was dangerous. What happened? He just got a goal. Of Conte sent off. He's down to ten men. Oh, okay. So he he has a, he's down a player. Essentially, be I uh, his Conte. He, he got a second yellow. If you get two yellows, you're sent off. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, interesting. He. he I mean, sure, he's up 6-0, but he sees this as a, you know, a threat. Yeah, so, dude, uh, still focused on winning this yeah, game. Yeah, Toby could take advantage of this and maybe get him a couple goals and, you know, fix up the uh, the goal differential, you know? So is that player out for the rest of the game or just... He's out for uh, the rest of the game. Dang, okay, so yeah. dude is just down a guy for the rest of so this match. So right now it's 10 men versus 11. So that was huh. a bit silly, but it happens. Um... Well, yeah. I mean, luckily he's up six nil. Yeah, definitely has space to yeah. kind of mess around, make mistakes. Um, they set themselves up for that for sure. Wow, risky you pass, see, but it yeah, pays yeah. off for Toby. What was that? Toby with an opportunity here. Perfect. You can just see how much space that creates now for Toby. Just to get him a goal or two would be nice. Duda managing to keep the defense tight, in control of the ball. But yeah, maybe this is going to kind of inspire Toby to press mm -hmm. the issue a bit, right? Say, okay, you're down a guy. Let's take advantage. Uh, good header into nothing. Just Love to see it. that. Turn for Love a corner, to see it. but... Yeah, hopefully Toby can take advantage of the red card, but... Dude, in a great place here. A lot of defenders for Toby. Yeah. When, when you see that man down, it actually does make a big difference. Oh, a bit of a crash in the midfield there. Okay. Yeah, kind well, of Duda, tripping over he's, themselves. He's just having some fun now. Those things happen. Yeah, he's like I said, down. Duda has tons of space. 
Tons of space, holding possession. Although Toby's countering now, which is a good sign. Hmm. Duda running up into the offensive zone. Juke and Toby's Barcelona out a little bit. Ah, Toby's like, get this out of here. I don't want to mm -hmm. deal with it. <laughs> Is that going to be an out for... Okay, out for uh, Barcelona throw, there. Yeah. I just thought um, Duda might have touched that somehow before oh, okay, it got yeah. out. Hey, Toby's got the ball a bit more here, obviously. I just, I just think he needs to get a goal. Somehow create more I, space. At least one goal, and uh, you know, then then yeah. at least Toby's going into the next game with a little less of a bruised ego, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, just I think the best thing you can do is just take his time with the ball and not rush to play. I mean, credit to Duda, he's been you know class in every department of the pitch. Okay, Duda, kind of feeling out the offensive zone here. Will this be seven? Ben Yedder in front of look net at how, is seven. Oh my goodness. Look at how Duda has three of Toby's guys on yeah. him. And they're still playing so confidently, keeping the ball in possession, and then just casually, you know, kicking it into the net. Like, just what? strolls through the box. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to say that Toby has some... Some sort of chance here, but it's looking worse and worse and worse yeah, for them. Yeah, unfortunately. Duda just seems like he, he they have such a command of the game right now. And like I said, yeah, he, uh, he put on a pretty dangerous player, Ben Yedder, on that uh, halftime. So, yeah, Duda here, he, he's he's basically showing no mercy. Do you but, think that Toby is just not getting or, or not using some of the technical moves oh, that, that Duda too. You could be using a bit more skill moves. I think, like, if you're someone who uses less skill moves, just try to hold possession, which is I, something I would do. But... Hey, Duda gonna stuff out that offensive play from Toby. Duda with another chance. We've seen him do it with one player before. <laughs> yeah. At the time, not gonna, not gonna good, happen. Just... Abusing one player, just driving the box. Yeah, I don't know if Toby's just not expecting Duda to make crazy plays with one player, but they have been pretty consistently this game. I mean, so, seven goals right. is Here's well, the thing. a big testament to that. Here's the thing. If I'm Toby, I would try my best to stop bringing out my defenders. That's what's hurting him the most. Something, mm -hmm. you know, what... You notice, Duda, he's controlling his midfielders like N'Golo Conte, just like there, winning ball, the, winning the ball back and sending. Perfect. Right here, Ben Yedder. Will he get a goal? I don't know. Try to toy with him here. But see how Toby is controlling PK, his center back. Mm -hmm. so, you don't want to control your center back too much. It's, it's a bad habit to have. I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of that. But top FIFA players, they will use their midfielders to win the ball back. Let the AI defense do the defending. Yeah, and, and Toby needs to kind of let go there control go. a little yeah. more. So he wins the ball back there, but... Oh, no, dude, yeah. another huge mm -hmm. chance here. Oh, goaltender is not in net. Decided not to go for anything there. Um, instead, opting to keep control of the ball. Still in a great position. Duda just outplaying Toby at every corner here. Just, just taking advantage of those mistakes. My goodness, man. This is crazy to watch. <laughs> like, Toby has no chance in his defensive yeah. uh, box. Like, it's it's insane, actually. I feel like if Duda had, had one one more good move there, that would have been another goal. Here we go. Let's see if we can. He could get another goal here. Oh, wow. He tries to flick it over the defender. Like, I don't know if Toby just is uh, losing their nerve a little bit here, but uh, Probably just... it's impressive. It's impressive from Duda's friend's yeah. performance. Yeah, so that's what's... To See, Duda's just taking advantage of the fact he's pulling those defenders. Yeah. He's not really jockeying. I've noticed that from Toby's match when his defending just keeps getting worse. Mm -hmm. He's not really applying the basics of defending. Like, the jockeying hasn't been there, in my opinion. Like, that's a good interception. He uses, you know, midfielder to mm -hmm. win the ball back. Perfect. And, but uh, what, sorry, but what's what's jockeying? I actually don't I, know that. It's, it's just a uh, defensive turn. You're kind of just following the, defend uh, following the forward, okay. essentially. 
Um, if I, I you know, we find a good example, I'll definitely show. Oh, you. Messi! Yeah. Not gonna be able to do what Messi does. Yeah, share play here is just kind of stopped. We'll have a reset here or go into the next match. We're not 100 percent sure, so stay. Stay share patient, play, officer. Share play just shattered under the weight of dude has game. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, clearly, clearly a dominant, um, first match here. It's, mm -hmm. it's looking unlikely that Toby is going to bring this back, but Hey, anything can happen here at the Trojan Esports showcase series. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then let's just check out, uh, some of the comments here. Uh, that guy, man, dude, I'm gonna head out. Take care, mate. Thanks um, for joining us. Uh, yeah, it's definitely. Thanks for uh, sitting with some of the tech issues that we've had today. Oh, you know, yeah. that'll happen. That'll happen. Mm -hmm. Pandemics affecting everyone, even the online experience. It's kind of treading new ground here. No, from these online only um, shows, right? But no, we will be back up in just a sec. Oh, sorry to cut you off, Matt. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. No, we'll be back in a sec. As you can hear the crowd getting pumped yeah. and we're back. Game is back on. Still up 7-0. Wow, well, hey, apparently Duda is in a great position since yeah. we saw them. I mean, I'm going to give Duda credit here. He's been very skillful. He's just been clinical. That's the best mm -hmm. way, clinical. So um, that, Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I've been saying. At first, I yeah. thought, okay, maybe Toby just, the, the, the strategy isn't there. they got to switch things up. But when, I'm, when, when, when Duda's in the box, in so much control of that ball, you can kind of see um, the skill that they're bringing to the table toby just can't break down that defense that's the issue if yeah if i were him i would try to incorporate some skill moves try to do you know more drag backs maybe more ball rolls oh, there you go Is that a, tackle, that's yeah. a penalty <laughs> that's not oh, what you want to so, be giving up oh no, yeah and great penalty oh you oh, missed it. the whiff it <laughs> Dude, wow. that doesn't need it. So I, I don't know if he just got it. too confident there. Maybe he, he felt bad for Toby. That's always possible. <laughs> I mean, he'd be up 7-0, so. Um, but, yeah, interesting. Um, but just just an update, too. does look like we've switched from a best of 7 to a best of 3. So mm -hmm. this is going to be the, uh, the first to 2. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, yeah, 7 matches is a lot to handle in FIFA. Mm -hmm. I mean... That's almost like a, a day of playing the weekend league. So yeah, but, bit of a uh, marathon. Late substitution here. Uh, Vidal is off for Toby. Toby bringing on who's Toby bringing on here? Well, we'll see in a second here. Artur. Brazilian Artur. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, we're back when you're talking about uh, Barcelona. Actually, the, the correct pronunciation for Barcelona is uh, Barcelona. You got Barcelona. Like yeah, it's like a bit of a lisp. Barcelona. Yeah, there, I know yeah. There's, there's big, yeah, there's big pronunciation difference between yeah. Spain, Spanish, and and uh, Catalonia as well. Yeah, Barcelona. Yeah. Okay, here we go, Barcelona. Barcelona. <laughs> okay, Toby. Let's see. Oh yeah, no! Offside. What is that? Toby so. just unlucky here. Even when they're breaking through a little bit, can't seem to keep a hold yeah. of things. Unfortunate for Toby. See if they can uh, at least get. A goal here before the match ends or will Duda mm -hmm. just completely run them over so it's really it's looking extremely unlikely that Toby will come back into this game but we do have a mm -hmm. second game coming up here and hopefully hopefully Toby can get a much closer game and get into the final for the best of three a bit of get an opportunity yeah getting it at least in Duda's territory Oh, I think that oh, was Mbappe. Wow. Okay, nice. Mbappe uh, just winning it back. That's, that's where he should be. Okay, he's got some space. Can he get himself a goal at the oh, end? Okay. Here's a great opportunity for Toby. Oh, goaltender going to swipe it from him. Not going to let him have it this time. No, no. Dude, dude is like, you know, you know, I'm keeping the clean sheet. Toby doing a pretty decent uh, job of keeping it in Duda's uh, side of the pitch, yeah. though. Got to give uh, give him a little credit. Yeah. When you're up against uh, zero seven scoreboard, it could be a little intimidating to oh, play your yeah. best. You know, a little I mean, tough. Uh, you well, got to acknowledge that tilt is real, right? Oh, 100 percent. I mean, a lot of there'll be a lot of players who just straight up, you know, leave that rage quit, and they're like, "I'm mm -hmm. done." But you know, credit to Toby for you know trying to fight and yep. find a way into this game. Keeping composure is uh, is yeah. just as commendable as as 
taking a win, I think. Exactly. Composure is tough in FIFA, and, you know, the sportsmanship as well. So, but mm -hmm. Duda has just been on another level. Um, there's actually a great series on Netflix about sports losers. The, oh, wow. the It's like a documentary miniseries. I, I might have to watch that. Yeah, it's really good, actually. They, they have a great episode on a football club in the UK. Oh. So, but, uh, before the games kicked off, I was telling you how you never know what to expect from, you know, the colleges here in Alberta when it comes to FIFA. How, you know, I got smacked mm -hmm. around in a tournament. Toby, I know how you feel. <laughs> 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 you know, sometimes you feel confident. You're like, oh, you know, it's Alberta. Who can really be good at FIFA? You'd be surprised. You know, maybe so, Toby just being nice to Lethbridge saying, hey, it's just an exhibition match. You can come on yeah. our stream, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you have some. <laughs> but, uh... Um, but if that's the case, uh, Duda coming out of Lethbridge, yeah. um, what are they? I think they're called the Grizz... The Kodiaks, sorry. Lethbridge College Kodiaks. So, just to showing yeah. the, the force of well, the Kodiaks here, here. representing, yeah. Toby representing the Kodiaks with Duda representing Sate. So he's really put a uh, Oh, pretty sorry. Good... Yeah, sorry. Got the... yeah, totally got that reversed. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. Totally got that reversed. But, oh, he's got a goal in the last minute. Oh, Toby. Toby. 7-1. Hey, credit to him, man. He got a goal. Great job, Toby. Yeah. Okay, Toby. So. Uh, sorry. Lethbridge College Kodiak's yeah. very own Toby getting their first goal of the match it, first it's a goal mouthful, of the exhibition <laughs> Lethbridge College Kodiaks yeah. when you get you can get there it's kind of like yeah. a tongue twister but no yeah always nice to have that you know consolation prize mm -hmm. so but I still have a second game here to go and I hope it'll be as close hey maybe uh, maybe Toby's planning on hitting six goals in the next minute or something that'd be wild <laughs> I mean, he can get a second here. It looks like he's trying. Oh, oh, no, okay. Uh, the match, that's match done. Oh, that's, that's match. Yeah, we got well, a match. Okay, Sate's uh, Trojan Duda really showing the force of yeah. uh, what they're up to over there in Calgary. <laughs> With a dominating 7 to 1 against Lethbridge College Kodiaks' Toby. So Yeah, that was. Uh... I mean, it was a blowout, unfortunately, for Toby. But, you know, Duda, he's smiling, he's happy, he's confident. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hope Toby can tie up the series, go to that final game, the best of three. Yeah, uh, we'll see, see. Maybe, maybe Toby just needed a little warm-up. You know? I think for Toby, that's true. He's a warm-up, and he's going to see, okay, Barcelona's not the right team for me. I'm going to change it up. Maybe I'll go a Bayern Munich. One of the best teams in the world. Manchester City. Those are some mm -hmm. of the top teams you can use. Paris Saint-Germain. That'd be a good team to use. They really yeah, Neymar hey, Mbappe. Look, when you're when you're up against a 1-7 scoreboard, yeah. you might want to use one of those really good teams to kind of yeah. lean on their skills. You and know like, what I mean? Barcelona, they're, they're obviously not well-known, but they're they're not as good as they used to be in FIFA. They're not the most sought out club. Real Madrid is okay, mm -hmm. maybe. So we'll see what he chooses here. Yeah, I mean, Toby kind of found something there at the end. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully they can bring some of that, get a bit of a tighter game mm -hmm. uh, for the second match of the best of three here at the Trojan Esport yeah. Showcase Series. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, we're having a blast here, just watching some football. Just to, uh, to take a look at the comments here, Mr. Krish. Uh, yes, we are letting national teams play clubs. Yeah, fun, uh, fun little fantasy matches here. It's just the exhibition yeah. rounds for this. Just having some fun, hanging out, watching some FIFA. Essentially, this, these are the exhibitions. So maybe towards the the full tournament, uh, the rules we hashed up a bit more. But right now, it's just an exhibition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, Toby can find a little bit more there against Duda. Duda probably mm -hmm. gonna stick with his French team. France national team uh, since they were doing so well with it. I mean, yeah. the numbers speak for themselves, right? Jeez, 7-1. I mean, it happens all to all of us in any sport, so... Mm -hmm. Well, you know, unlike a real uh, soccer football match, Toby's got another chance at a win here. So it ain't over yet, folks. <laughs> so let's stay tuned. Hopefully um, we can get in here a little quicker than last time. Um get you guys the football action you're craving.
Okay. So, um, yeah, what what did you say some of those good teams were? Manchester City? Well, oh, right yeah. there we're seeing, yeah, hey, Manchester City. You Perfect. called it. You yeah. called it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at the formations here. Duda using a 4-4-1-1. That's a formation that's not typically used in FIFA as much as I remember. Like I was mentioning, 4-2-3-1 is heavily used. A mm -hmm. 3-5-2. Uh, I'm trying to think of 4-4-2, but a 4-4-1-1 formation. Interesting. Wow. Um, I'm, is that more, that's more of a defensive? I would say it's uh, more position. defensive, yeah, because you have you know, a load of midfielders who come back. Uh, you got two central attackers, so yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, well, maybe uh, Duda is kind of thinking, okay, yeah. took the first game, but I'm not going to get cocky. I'm going to hold on to the lead, yeah. play a lot safer, you know, uh, try not to let their head get to them. Mr. Homeless in the chat saying, more defensive, it's a drop back counter. Hey, if it's working for him, I mean, he's getting seven goals in, so. Mm -hmm, totally. So, yeah, it looks like it's been more offensive than anything. All right, we're back into it. Toby switching up their team to Manchester City from the Barcelona Football Club. Here we Let's go. Let's see if the team gives uh, them a little more of that edge that they're looking for to take a match and a couple more points, yeah, a couple more goals off Duda. Bar uh, Manchester City is a, I think, pers I think it's a better choice than Barcelona. So I think he, he'll have a, a hopefully a tighter game. Hopefully, he can hold on possession. Mm -hmm. He's in a way of breaking down that four four one one. Right. Toby's been, yeah, he's been really good on the counter. Oh, and already a chance here for Duda. Oh, no. oh first oh, minute goal. First two minutes of the in-game mm -hmm. clock. Dude is coming out strong, saying, "All right, let's get that buffer, let's get that lead." Wow! Oh, you don't want to see that if you're Toby. You thought yeah. you had a fresh start, maybe, right? New team, new exactly. game. Exactly. Just kind of uh, goes all the way to the byline and cuts it into Pogba into the middle. Easy okay. goal. But let's see if we have similar. Oh, Toby! Oh, no, he was gonna return one right there, but not being able to land a goal. Great kind of you know, uh, flying flying in the face of Duda, just I'm, saying, I'm hey, starting can... to feel bad for Mr. Toby because he's had some, you know, good early chances. Even in the last game, he had some and just hasn't been able to convert them. Yeah, I mean, hey, that was that was a yeah. great chance. That was a great play uh, compared to some of the stuff we saw but last hey, game no, from Toby. That gives him confidence. Sure, he's down 1-0 early. That happens to, you know, FIFA players. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's hard to get a grip, grasp of the game just right off kickoff. Okay. It's been three minutes. I think he can honestly get back into this game. Good possession of the ball so far from Toby. Um, looks like they're using a, a couple more tricks up their sleeve to maintain possession, mm -hmm. not let Duda walk all over them, all over that defense, like uh, like last match. There you go, Griezmann into the. Ooh, okay, hold on. To how? Okay, Walker not being able to get that one. <laughs> yeah. Is uh oh, Duda finding oh, an opening on the right days. side. Toby getting it out of there. A little more space to breathe for Manchester City. It's making his defenders look silly. Not too, too dominant yeah. uh, as of yet. As of yet. Toby actually getting the back and forth that they're looking for a little more than last match so far, too. Which, if they can keep up, uh, mm -hmm. maybe this match might be a little more competitive than the last one. Well, so far, I think it's already been. But uh, totally. Toby is just, you know... No, Duda is just a threat always on the counter. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, props, we were kind of saying a little earlier, props to Toby for not letting yeah. Duda oh. get too much in the hey, there, there we go! Toby. Oh, what is this? In like the first like 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah, we got one, one. Here, guys. Kevin we got, De Bruyne. We got a game here. There Best we of go. three, Toby's not going to get eliminated just yet. You know, they're saying, I want to stay in this. Let's yeah. get some gold. Credit to you, Toby. But hey, Duda's got a nice. Uh, it's we got a we got a game, which is awesome. Totally, we got a game of FIFA <laughs> 20 here at the uh, Saint Trojan uh, Exhibition Games, the Showcase Series. There we go, Duda. Oh, and chance. it's a goal. Ooh, Pass right to side though. Mid. Oh no goal. Oh. Wow. Okay. Unfortunate for Duda. Yeah. But great news for Toby. <laughs> yeah, Toby's out of the woods. He's like, all right, okay, I'm still in this. <laughs> yeah, Toby's like, hey, I'll take those, man. I'll take yeah. those. <laughs> okay, Toby coming in on the right side, passing to center, seeing if they can find something. A little swarmed here, but if they can maintain. 
Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Possession back into a lot uh, of water here. You know, these, these casting calls give you make you a little thirsty. I finished my tea already, man. I f I'll finish my cup of tea. Duda <laughs> on the left side. <laughs> yeah. Taking advantage. Hey, Duda, credit to him. He's oh, find some bop in the middle, and that's no cool. way. This is a vicious game. Wow. wow. Both players are looking like predators. That's uh. Yeah, I mean, credit. That was easy. That was easy for Duda. Really, he just saw him bopper in the middle. Say, hey, I'm. I this. This is an easy goal for me. But here comes Toby on the counter. Oh, Toby yeah, I'm, find... I'm. I'm liking the fast pace of this fast pacedness <laughs> of this game. Toby oh, seems to be abandoning a little of uh, their inhibition and going for things a little more, and that's letting them stay in control of the ball a little more. You know, maybe Duda has uh, two two goals, right? But. So far, Toby has one goal. That's a lot better than we were seeing last match. And uh, Toby, Toby's a little confused, actually. Nice little... Yeah, we see Duda. He's just using his defenders well, winning the ball back easily, and just hits him on the counter. Oh, he's got to play on the run there. Can oh, my goodness. Out? Duda completely uncontested. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. You know, the, the man had maybe couple of shooting opportunities just alone but he he creates different chances as he could have shot with kingsley coma and it could have been a goal instead he just passes the griezmann for an easy one touch in yeah great decision so, making from duda even yeah. if they have the upper hand they're still making the smart safe plays that are gonna kind of help guarantee those goals a little more not going for the big flashy ones D duda's really been just honestly a attack it's been an attacking clinic from him mm-hmm he just totally. creates space, puts the ball in as easy as he can. You know, he's not it going did. for long shots or anything, right? Duda's play is definitely making look, uh, or make Toby's defense look non-existent in some of these cases. Look at this control from Duda too. Just I great know. passing, keeping space um, in between him and his blockers. Okay, Toby going to take it there. It was looking pretty good for Duda, though, yeah. honestly. A lot of space for his you know, players. Toby has been better this game. Uh, I totally. just think defensively, he could, if he's if he tightens up the back, he can get himself back into this game. Oh. Toby Jeez, with a bit of a chance here. Getting a bit swarmed, maintaining uh, possession. Duda, i got to get that ball out of there. Now, let's see how, how Toby defends it. Okay, wins it back. Duda not being able to convert that defense into an offensive play. Finding space. Credit. Mm -hmm. Toby not going to be able to find anything off that. Not enough space, unfortunately. Yeah. Getting kind of pincered by uh, Duda's defense. See, like, this this play specifically, um, Duda's player just seems to be uncontested okay. in some of these okay. cases. Ooh, all right. The so lob up. Wow. Not going to pay off, but I like no, that. I won't lie, you know, Toby has been better defensively this game. I think he's trying to use his, you know, midfielders, like I said, more. Right. But, you know, when you get you start conceding so many goals like last game, you kind of forget those the basics, the fundamentals, mm -hmm. right? 3-1, so. got to gotta say, though, not the end of the world. No, no, definitely not. I can easily get himself back, but well done. This is definitely looking... Like a much more back and forth game, a much, a much more even game, despite the goal difference. Toby's got a chance here. What's that? Oh wow! Some oh, 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 that's unfortunate. The, the header not gonna do it. Hitting the bar on the right side, still in the box though. Now, what's something I noticed from Duda there that he was definitely moving. You, you're you can control your keeper a little bit and move it out. Mm. So I've noticed that from Duda, and if Toby can kind of take advantage of that. He can get himself back in this game. Players who take control of their keepers, they can be dangerous. It can be hard to break down. It's a smart tactic if you can pull it off. Great passing here from Toby, getting it away from Duda's attackers and finding some space yeah, for, honestly, for themselves. Just couldn't get to Aguero. And even even just giving themselves breathing room, mm -hmm. Toby is, is playing more confidently, uh, you know, allowing themselves to have some time to reform and shape up. It's not as oppressive as it was last match. Oh, beautiful. oh great pass beautiful for Duda. Chip That's gonna... to come on. Wow. That is going to equate to another goal for Duda. Wow. 
I won't lie to find Coleman in that left hand wing. Beautiful. Just yeah, pick him out. That was passing good. over the head of Toby's players. Yeah. So they just couldn't. I think that honestly that. caught him off surprise. That would caught me off, catch me off surprise as well. Yeah, totally. Um, right now, I'm if I'm from... Toby, second half, I might take off Sergio Aguero and put on Gabriel Jesus just because Aguero, he's a high rated striker in the game. But mm. I think he lacks pace compared to previous years in this one. So I know so Jesus, a little slower, but still a strong yeah. attacker. Yeah, he can shoot well. He can pass. He can, you know, he's got great stats, but that pace is so vital because mm -hmm. Duda, he's got so much pace on the wings, up front. He can do anything, but that, that think, that's just, yeah. Yeah, even when Toby is trying to attack, you know, a lot of Duda's guys are catching up to him. Mm -hmm. I mean, Toby, he's got two fast wingers with Raheem Sterling and Sané, but just having a, I don't know, I would bring on Gabriel Jesus, who's got good dribbling. And good pace, which is very important to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Victor said in chat, Duda really showing up for the State Trojans. Yeah, representing them very well here. Yeah, letting letting the people know that, hey, this is our event. You know, I'm going to come out here and represent for the Trojans. Putting Calgary on the map. Oh, my days. Oh, a shot from I, so I'm just far saying, away, and it's not going to land for, for Toby. I'm just saying, if I end, if I end up ever going to State, I'm not going to enter a FIFA tournament because I know <laughs> yeah. Duda's on the other end. <laughs> Dude is going to show up with yeah, a little jacket yeah. and some sunglasses <laughs> and he's going to just, you know, stomp. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but credit to Duda. Yeah, and, and I got to say, Toby, great improvement from last yeah. game. And, you know, most improved is is a commendable thing. I think so. I think he's found a little bit more rhythm this game. Whereas, in uh, in competitive games, that yeah, you need that you need mm -hmm. that growth, right? Oof, Duda just you can't get the ball out of his feet. It goes near post five and one. Just another goal. You put it into Duda's possession, and they're gonna yeah. do something with it. <laughs> you know, he, I don't know. From what I've seen with Duda, the ball, like the feet, his foot has been a magnet to that ball. You can't get it off him. I think Duda's trying to do everything he can. It's just, or Toby's trying to do everything he can to defend Duda, but Duda's just been putting on a clinic. It's yeah, it definitely wow. seems like Duda kind of has Toby right where if, uh, they want them. You know, if I can say anything to Toby, he's like, "Don't feel bad, man. You just came up against a very, very good opponent here. You know, he's yeah. he's been class, definitely. And hopefully, Toby isn't losing too much hope for themselves. Yeah. Um, give it their all. There's still a chance here. You know. Like, here's the thing with FIFA right now. Like, a lot of people tend to play uh, FIFA Ultimate Team a, a, a much more. And the gameplay, there's a bit of a gameplay difference between Ultimate Team and Seasons, what we're, we're watching here as Seasons. Hmm. So some players do have trouble adjusting to the gameplay. So maybe... Oh, but Jesus, my days. <laughs> Duda, what are you doing, man? This is dirty. Oh my gosh, Duda going in so hot, looking for his like, sixth goal. Not going to find it that time. I, I love but just showing, just showing the power that they're bringing to the table here. I love, oh, okay. Come on, Toby, creating a chance in the box. Could, mm, nothing. Toby not taking advantage of that at all. That's oh. not what they need to be doing to score goals. Just giving it back to Duda. Now, Duda you know, going to bring it back all the way to the offensive zone. Pass back to center. Oh, the header to just get it out of there. Yeah. I think Toby, when he's on that on the flank, on the wing, he's not really trying to cut inside into the box. Uh, he's not really trying to create some originality yet. Oh. It's, dude, I just juked out like four of Toby's defensemen into a goal. <laughs> That is what, insane. What, what, what have I just seen? Toby just can't find wow. anything on, on Duda's offense. Just can't break it. The spearhead is too strong. That was that wow. was impressive. That was impressive. Like you said earlier, Toby, don't sweat it because Duda is doing some next level stuff right now. Honestly, yes, this is... The... From what I can see, I think... In FIFA, Duda is probably a elite to elite one player, someone who can go twenty five wins in the weekend league out of thirty games. Where maybe I don't know Toby's goal two, which is fine, you know that's good, but there's just a, that skill gap right now. I think. Mm -hmm. And you know it's looking like 
it, it might be a, a one seven just like it was last match pretty soon here oh actually yeah, well, toby not why let that happen here's the thing with duda duda is just reading the play so well he's predicting the passes from toby intercepting him fast and just hitting him on the break so mm. it just seems like also duda has maybe a little more he's he's they're a little more comfortable yeah in their play exactly. style than toby is toby is looking for things trying to force the issue a bit but there maybe Come on. there we go. There you go. Great pass to center to get that goal. Toby breaking their their curse here a little bit and getting two goals on the board against Duda's six. Uh, That's like something I'm noticing really much here is um, Duda is pressing very high, getting defenders up the pitch, and I think I mean Toby is Duda is just exposing that. Mm -hmm. Toby's playing, I know it's a kind of a high line, which when you're, I mean, you're 6'2", I mean, that's a good idea because you're trying to get a goal back. But when you're playing... Toby play, kind you, of yeah. forcing it here. Exactly. Sorry. No, I was just going to say, like, when you're playing a high line, yes, you're trying to get a goal, but it exposes you so much in the back, you can get countered easily, just like this. Totally. So. Oh, Toby managing to stuff it there. Oh, actually, not that much. Due to passing back to maintain possession, maintain mm -hmm. control... Wow, actually, a bit of a dangerous pass there, but it's going to pay off for Duda. Still has nice the ball under there. their feet. Yeah. What will they do? Pass back, get to center, takes the shot, and hits it on the right side of the net. Another goal for Duda. 2 7 for the State Trojans. Yeah, and we had a comment here earlier from Mr. Uh, Krish. Duda looks like he's trying cheekier moves every attack. It's very true. I mean, when you're With up that, too. yeah. I mean, when you're up that high, experiment, have some fun, have some flair. Yeah, um, maybe maybe Duda went a little too far last game, getting a player uh, out yeah, of kick out of the game. It's been a lot safer. But you know, you you have that space when you are dominating this much. I, I've seen everything from Duda. Honestly, his game has been complete. I mean, sure, he's let in a few goals. Strange pass but, there from Toby, passing way back, almost yeah. losing possession. Um, Toby just kind of, uh, maybe I mean, a little I'm less kind of focused here. Wow, that was interesting. Like, the game is going to continue here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, and the game moves on. <laughs> well, you know, to I got to say, good job to Toby getting some points yeah. for Lethbridge College Kodiaks. Not letting, not letting Sate go unchecked completely. Yeah. Um, and, and putting up a, you know, showing us a, a, a great game here. I giving us a great show. He's, he's got some goals. He's creating space. Oh. He's got, oh, there you go. Come on, get that in there. You go. And the center to goal. Seven, three. This has been a crazy, it's 10 goals. It's not even half time. Half time. Yeah, we haven't even had half time. And I, I, maybe this is, uh, this is on us a bit. Yeah. You know, kind of saying, okay, Duda's taking a, a great lead here, which they have. But Toby is fighting back here. Good on you, Toby. I mean, look, we've praised Duda. We've praised Toby. I mean, you got to give both opponents credit. Totally. All go. right, Duda uh, looking yeah. for their eighth goal here. And so, yeah. There, there we got the, the share play, a little connection quality thing going on. Yeah, there. That'll, that'll, happen. that'll happen. That happens. You know, the Wi-Fi play is what it is. Yeah. You got to kind of live with it uh, recently. But that's all right. We still got the game stream going. Toby trying to find his fourth goal. Or their fourth goal. Getting it out of the hands of Duda for the time being. In the offensive zone. Seeing if they can break through this defense that Duda's putting up. So far, it's looking okay. Oh, oh chance oh, here. Oh, okay. Wow. Four. All right. Um, this is huge. This is huge. Toby is feeling themselves right now, man. This Seven, is awesome. four. <laughs> this is awesome, actually. We got a freaking game. I don't, I don't think I've seen a scoreline like this in a long time. Credit to Toby. He's fighting back. He can mount a comeback. It's tough. Yeah, this, Just, this might be making Duda a little afraid, actually. Like, Toby <laughs> came back there right at the end with two goals of their own. To kind of say, hey, I'm still in this game. You're yeah. not going to walk all over me. Your fancy footwork isn't going to be the end of this uh, match I think, yet. I think Toby's starting to actually figure out how he can get himself back in this game. What he needs to do. Although, you know, Duda, he's a smart player. He'll, he'll figure out, okay, this is what I need to change. Look, we're going to see some changes here at halftime. Mm -hmm. Griezmann's coming off for Ben Yedder. We saw it last time. And same with the same formation. 
Uh, and honestly, the tactics have been very balanced, it looks like here. I was interested to see his tactics. No dropback, balanced on everything. So, Mr. Homeless in the chat, you were wrong about the dropback. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see what happens here. Second okay. half kicks off. Toby kind of making a stake for uh, the Kodiaks here. Yeah. And credit to Toby. He's putting up a fight. under The underdog story. You know, Trojan's pretty strong, pretty strong, but yeah. can they beat the bear? Can so far, it's true, but... Uh, Toby force a third game, right? Yeah. And, you know, Toby is, is coming out into the second half feeling very hot about themselves. Mm. Getting two goals right at the end there. Duda not willing to make oh that a streak. Oh, my God. And just coming back. With another goal, eight to four for the Trojans. Duda putting in work here. Tell me, mate, don't feel bad. Duda's just on another level because the way he <laughs> was able to send Pogba and create that space, that passing lane, superb. Wow. That early goal right after the whistle is so powerful. <laughs> you know, just I, I'm, watching, I'm watching Toby here. He's trying to defend the passing lane. He's trying to, you know, try to intercept the pass, but just. A, Send Pogba on that, I think, uh, right-hand side and just pick him out. Wow. The yeah, creativity has been another love for Duda. Duda's just looking so comfortable. Yeah. You know? Not getting phased by the, the couple goals Toby managed to find for themselves. And just, you know, playing their game. Okay, Toby. Looking for another chance here. Oh, my. Oh, we're going to hit the post. This has been a great game. Yeah, a crazy competitive end to game. End. A great exhibition game. Yeah. I say. 100%. Much better than the last game we had, but... Oh, Duda good, looking good save. for one great save from um, Toby's goaltender yeah. there. Brings up the keeper. I mean, yes, he's down four goals. He can still, you know, give us some life. Okay, Duda. Feeling it out here. Mm -hmm. Finding some space. Toby nice. going to stuff the slow the offense of Duda. And Duda recovering. Just playing a little slow. Just finding finding space. You know, letting Toby know, hey, I, I want to hold the ball for a bit. <laughs> you know, I'm going to play with the ball for a bit. You can sit back and watch Honestly, me. Yeah. Look at this slow approach, actually. Not forcing it. Just kind of passing it. Um, not getting it stolen from him. Uh, nice slow approach. I really like the pace of this game, honestly. It's it's been a crazy scoreline, but the pace has been back and forth. Totally. At the beginning of the game it was it was pretty vicious back and forth, but right now we're seeing we're seeing Toby kind of come into their own a bit. Um I think, being able to contest Duda's offense. I think the what gives Duda the edge is honestly just his creativity. To send his players on runs and create that space. I mean he's picking out players that I like I'm I i would not find. Mm. And credit to him. It's been it's been fun to watch. Toby finally finding some room yeah. to breathe here. Oh, getting a little oh, nice. in the Hornets net. Uh, yeah. Not going to find the goal. Bernardo Great save. Silva. But uh, yeah. yeah, Toby Toby was in control of the ball there pretty oh. pretty handily um, just before the save. Last game I was mentioning how Toby needs to kind of control possession. Oh my Ooh. god. Almost. But he's been doing that. He's been holding on. He's been patient. And that's mm -hmm. why he's gotten the goals. Totally. Um, bit of a bit of a screen there for Toby to shoot through. Wasn't able to find anything. Yeah. He was just blocked by one of the players. Just a lot of traffic in front totally. of him. Mm -hmm. But right now, Duda is taking a bit of a slower approach. He knows he's going to get countered here. He's trying to be safe, I think. Yeah, I, Duda knows that uh, yeah. You know they're not invulnerable anymore, right? So playing safe, playing slow just lends itself to a win for, for for Duda. Leading the game with double the points, double the goals of Toby with eight for uh, St. Trojans versus four. Well, now he's just holding possession. The Kodiaks. Up eight four because he knows he can get countered. So right now, if I'm Toby, I would try to uh, add some press. Wow, and just kind of organically yeah. finding space wow. into into the box there. 
do that, you know, just playing a really impressive game. I think you just see the intelligence and do it as game. He knows when to, you know, t uh, hold things down for a bit. Totally, yeah. I was just going to say that, um, you know, Duda not getting cocky knows what uh, yeah. they got to do to win, you know? And sometimes that's that's just being safe, passing back He's and forth, holding the ball. right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, Duda, again, finding a slow approach, slow and safe, just not trying to give up the ball to Toby. Icing him out a little bit, you could say. Oh, Duda actually getting denied, oh, but wow. still possession of the ball here. Great save. And another shot. Wow. Good save uh, from, yeah. from Toby uh, and the Kodiaks, but honestly, Duda just was so in control there. Well done. Big save. Got to give him praise for that. Oh, not covered. Got to find an entrance through the center. Yeah. Another great save. Duda has just been trying to go for that near post. Ederson's been standing on his head, honestly. I mean, eight goals past the keeper, but he's been playing well regardless. Yeah, I mean, it's going to make Toby yeah. nervous naturally, right? Your, your goaltender having to dive every time. You're mm -hmm. kind of waiting with bated breath for it to be a goal or a save. And you're like, oh, okay, great. This time it worked out, but I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> Oh, Duda, geez. oh wow. Well, yeah. Two on one here for Duda. Are they going to pass? Oh, juking out the defender. Yeah. And wow, not even making use Nine of the four. other player. Just raw skill, oh, a raw bit of, uh, Mr. Duda. Duda saying, well what's up? Yeah. Can you Dang, hear me? That was really impressive. That was really Duda, impressive. I think uh, we've, we've heard you loud and clear. 9 4 statement. Yeah, I mean, hey, let's go Trojans at this point. You know, <laughs> nine goals speaks for itself. Putting, he's putting, he's representing you know Satan very well here. Mm -hmm. Toby, I mean, let's be real here. I think he was, he did turn on the Jets. He was trying to press, get his players higher to get the ball back and try to you know mount a comeback. But when that happens, he exposes himself in the back, and that's what happened. Mm -hmm, totally, yeah. Toby definitely putting up a great fight against Duda. It just seems like it's not enough to win. Okay, Although, Toby. I say okay. that Toby's got an opportunity to score here, trying to back. do some fancy footwork of his own. Uh, actually, putting the ball in a bit of a dangerous position, yeah. losing control. Duda getting possession back all the way back. This is Duda so good. This is two uh, two strikers up top. He can just create what he wants. Wow! Look at how fast that swung back into the favorite. Yeah. Team. And again, another opportunity. Get real Beautiful. close. Wow. That was great insane play skill. from Duda, but great save, you know. Yeah, Ederson, the goalie for City here, has been making great saves, bailing them out a bit here. Popped it up wow. for himself and yeah. took the shot. It was a one-man show there from Duda. It's really impressive what uh, what the Trojan representative Duda can do just just with one player. Oh, just barely missing the out. Toby keeping it in. Could go back and control Duda. Duda pressing back forward. Might be looking to make this a double digit score for the State Trojans. Again, Stop. great control, yeah. great breathing space for Duda, just running down that clock. The more time Toby doesn't have the ball, the more sure. Duda must be feeling of themselves. Beautiful. Beautiful skill. Look at this control. He's yeah. just messing around the ball. He's just abusing Mbappe here. He's probably trying to get his 10th goal oh, here. Oh my goodness. He's just trying to make Toby yeah. look at this point. <laughs> oh, poor Toby. He's trying his best. Toby eventually going to kind of put a stop to that nonsense, yeah. but that hasn't I, completely I, if I'm stopped Toby here, I, If I'm Toby here, I was just looking at a way not to put 10, but have 10 past you. I was like, let's not get double digits. Yeah, exactly. You know, Toby can't be feeling the greatest right about yeah. now, but still putting up a good fight, not letting yeah. Duda get Great that chance. Spirit. Over. It's not like he's, he's not giving away easily. He's going at him as soon as he can. Mm hmm. But also, Duda, you know, not, not resting on their laurels either. Still 
still competing, you know, still, you know, putting up yeah. that fancy footwork. Okay, great Beautiful. pass. Tenth goal. No, tries to chip and lob it over. Gonna shoot high. He saw that goalie rushing him and uh, yeah. maybe lob it over his head, but just a little <laughs> no. too high. A little cheeky chip. Looking for something. Looking for that 10. Oh, an injury. Yeah, it won't affect him too much, honestly. Injuries in FIFA are not the... They've been toned down, really. They, they used to be able to get injured and they'd have to be subbed off, but no, it's not too mm. big of a worry. Everyone knows soccer players, most injured players of any sport. This is true. <laughs> oh, no, the net oh, is open. Lord. Oh, wow. Goy actually managed to just swoop it out. Maybe Duda was just a little too slow on that Ooh. goal opportunity, but I thought that was a free one, honestly. Yeah, no, he tried to go around him, just did a little ball roll, which, I mean, which is a huge, it was a big thing last year in FIFA 20, so good to see it back. Can't really do as much in FIFA 21. Toby kind of like weighing said, their options. Who knows, maybe Toby's just had a rough time adjusting back to FIFA 20. The gameplay is a bit different, I won't lie. That is I true, that I, is something. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep your... I right, was someone who was better at FIFA 20, and FIFA 21's been harder to adapt to, so it's it's one of those things, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Great point, um, that this is the FIFA 20, not FIFA 21, which yeah. you said, obviously, everyone is probably playing a little more of. Yeah. Duda up here, all alone for a bit. But Duda seems to be just very confident, comfortable with this skill sticks and everything doesn't yeah, seem totally phased defense looking a little timid yeah well i mean yeah. i'm gonna say i think he was a little bit phased when uh toby started mounting a little bit of a comeback but he he got control of the game and hasn't really you know defensively he fixed things offensively he's been the same so yeah duda said comeback shmum back yeah i'm gonna, get, I'm gonna try and get 10 goals this game <laughs> jeez yeah, see, he's just waiting. Waiting for Toby to press him. Yeah, you know, patience wow. is is really hard to... Good save, good save. Patience is really hard to apply in these tournament settings, right? These competitive mm -hmm. settings. So uh, when I see Duda kind of taking his time, it's it's oh, more oh, impressive oh, to oh, me. Okay. Um, Toby just had the ball. He's kind of giving it up there. That was weird. Dude. Yeah, that, that was a pass to Duda. Maybe yeah, Toby is, okay. a little frazzled. You have the shots on target there with uh, Duda having 13, Toby having 6. So, it's been an offensive masterclass between these two, I think. All right, Duda sneaking, sneaking it back to his players. Yeah, and Duda has just been able to chain passes so easily. The one touches back and forth, back and forth, making it hard for Toby to kind of read the play, intercept, and predict. Toby's almost looking a little afraid to challenge these attacks and kind of keeping his yeah, players well, back. Exactly. Trying to stuff them in the box, which, you know, maybe a little more pressure might serve Toby uh, a cool, bit more. Beautiful. Duda. Oh my goodness. The control. And that is 10 goals for the State Trojans. Duda representing his school with a double digit Look. score. Duda here, he's got one of the best players in the game, Mbappe. One of the best players that with foot when it comes to footwork, dribbling, so the knock the ball off his feet is not that easy. So yeah, it's just uh Toby, he had hope and then Duda yeah. says, Nah, not today. No, 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 no. You're not you're not making me stress out. Yeah, Toby found a bit of a rhythm there just before halftime yeah. and hasn't really kicked back in yet. It looked like you know, early on in the in the uh, second half, though he he would you know maybe create something, but credit to him yeah. for actually trying to maybe get a fifth goal here. Fifteen, that'd be nice. It's it's pretty intimidating yeah. against ten goals now, right? You're almost thinking, okay, let's try for something. I guess I should not let him get another goal. I haven't I don't really know. seen any faults in Duda's game. He's been well organized, very creative, unpredictable. That's what you yeah. want to be as a good FIFA player. It, it just does seem like Duda has Toby's number at this point. Yeah, oh, there you go. This is 11. Another goal. There it is. Right to center, into the net. 
<laughs> it's almost like yeah. it's almost like we expect it to happen now. <laughs> That's eleven on the board for Duda. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I Trojan. feel bad for Toby because you don't want to be like, oh, we expect it, but it's just one of those moments where Duda's so good in the box, he knows how to just get the player to the ball to the player he wants. Yeah. So, and unfortunately for you know Toby, he's probably feeling not as confident. He's like, well, what else is there? What else can I do? Mm -hmm. Lethbridge College Kodiak's not yeah. going to find success in today's exhibition match. So, much better. I guess that's why they call showing. it the Trojan Esports yeah. Showcase Series, Honestly. you know? <laughs> yeah, I still, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, credit to Toby for finding some goals and making a game. Yeah, definitely. He, you know, Toby's game uh, was, was a lot better than, than last match. It was very competitive, mm -hmm. very fierce at the beginning of this. Uh, it was super fun to watch, actually. So, yeah, like you said, credit to him for putting on a great show for us, putting on a great match for us to watch. And, uh, you know, it, it ain't over yet, though. It ain't over yet. No. I mean, we're, got, we're getting to the uh, end of the match here, 87th minute. Clock is ticking. Can't Could, be 5 11, Just... though. Could be 5-11, though. Could be 5-11, you know? True. Who Snap knows? Pad. <laughs> okay, Toby. Taking the ball in from the right side of the box. Yeah. Could it want yeah, to center this or something? That, just giving up the ball. No. I'm not just that from Toby up. is that he's, he's lacking some of the base. Maybe it's just because like, he's down so many goals. But I feel like he can incorporate the ball roll and, into his game there on the wing. The ball roll is pretty important. It creates some space for you and your players. So, hmm. But we'll see. I, I just think on that left-hand flank, he can do a bit better trying to cut in. For example, he's just trying to force it to his striker, to central player, and Duda takes advantage of that counters goal. Yeah, just trying to push it through, and nothing's yeah. nothing is working for Toby, uh, unfortunately. Duda just flexing, wow. just flexing the control once he's again. Trying to get 12th here. Oh my days! Oh, is he gonna get it? He's gonna get it! Wow! The cross. The goalie wasn't able to stop the cross huh. pass easy into the right side of the net. That's twelve four for Duda representing the State Trojans goals, against thriller. four goals for Toby representing Lethbridge College Kodiaks. Toby, you have my sympathy. Duda, you have my praise, man. Oh my. <laughs> um. Yeah, Toby, you know, maybe looking to, to make this 4 or 5, though. It's, it's not even done yet. And he's still trying to get a 13. There's like a couple seconds left. And he's trying to get a 13. This guy I, I, shows no mercy. Oh, the goalie just boots it out of bounds. Possession back into Duda's hand. Go. And that's game. Final whistle blown. Duda takes the victory, winning the best of three, 2-0. By a large goal scoring margin. Jeez. Yeah, Duda taking the game. 12 yeah. to 4. Dang. That was a very one sided best of three. I've I'm not going to lie. Too many Toby, goals, I think. great, great uh, job. You know, putting on a great show for us. A couple good yeah. matches. Really came out strong in that first half of the second match, but just wasn't enough to compete against Duda's, you know, one man army mm -hmm. plays there. Essentially, some those, yeah. Some of those goals. Well put. Um, but that is going to wrap up today's exhibition match um, for the Trojan Esport Showcase Series. Um, thanks so much for joining me, Matt. Yeah, for um, sure, that was a pleasure. It was fun. Thanks, everyone, in chat for joining us. Um, I want you guys to go and check out the Smash.gg page for the Trojan Esport Showcase Series. Um, there's going to be a FIFA 21 tournament. There's going to be Rocket League. There's going to be... Uh, NBA 2K21 and a Madden 21 tournament and other exhibitions coming up. Um, so you can keep your eyes peeled for that. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you like to, to do um, to keep up to date on what we're up to. If you just like esports in general, you know, follow us on Twitch and uh, we always got fun stuff popping off on this channel. Um, anything you want to say to the people, Matt, before we, uh, I just want to thank you for tuning in and, uh, I can't wait to be, uh, back, uh, back on the mic again, uh, well, for future matches. So, uh, if you want to check myself out, uh, I do content for the 90th minute, uh, twitch.tv slash is my stream and yeah, just check out uh, the 90th minute. We appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning yeah. in, by the way. So we will see you again, Matt, yeah. on the 27th. 
for Welcome. the next round of the FIFA semifinals sure. and finals. Awesome. Thank cool. you. Thanks, guys. Take care.